Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Once again, I want to be here blessing each one of you. My blessings are to give you strength, perseverance, and power. Strength is to keep you moving forward. It is to keep them believers, strong, with a lot of physical strength to walk, to remove obstacles, to survive surprises, to go through problems, through offenses. Anything that can take them off the right path. Perseverance is to keep you always on the right path, on the path of evolution, on the path of ascension. No matter what happens, you will never give up, you will never exchange your ascension for anything or anyone. So it's helping you have strength so that whenever there is a doubt, whenever that urge to give up appears, you will be pushed onto the right path, onto the path of light. Understand, my brothers, that each of you already comes with certain powers. The powers to become elevated human beings, the power to help others, the power to make decisions, the power to choose your rulers, the power to choose the path you want for your own life, the power to choose your partner or companion, the power to work on what you like or don't like. So you are powerful at all times. Power is not just doing something different from others, or doing what a superhero does. You are powerful, you just don't realize the power you have. You think that everything is weakness, everything is difficulty, everything is an obstacle. And you don't realize that every time you surpass each one of them, you use your powers, you use the power of decision, the power of choice. Most of the souls who are here now, on this journey of preparation for ascension, are free souls, who chose to participate in this process, with an open heart and chest, knowing that they would suffer all sorts of misfortunes, existing in the third dimension, but they are here. The vast majority preparing to ascend and leave this dimension. It's a shame that there are still a minority of these souls, who can't remember anything. Why? Because they had the power to choose the wrong path, the path of no light, the path of power for power's sake, the path of mistreating a brother, of not caring about a brother. Then they will continue their journey in the third dimension, they will exercise their powers of superiority, in another orb, anywhere in the universe. Some of these evolved souls are more than ready. They are already on their way to the fifth dimension, some have already arrived there. I understand that it is difficult for you to understand this journey between dimensions. Understand it this way, draw several circles on the floor, very far apart. So the center of the circle, the starting point of the line, is the origin of your soul. The first ray is the first dimension, the second is the second and so on. So that you understand, reality is not like that, it is similar, but it is not like that. It is dimensional, not flat, like we are doing. So when I say that a soul is already in the fifth dimension, it is not living there, it just had enough frequency to vibrate in the fifth dimension. So it is a soul that is very isolated, he no longer participates in almost anything that happens on the planet, but physically, it is not there, physically it continues here on the soil of this planet, which is still for you in the third dimension. But your mind, your frequency, is already there on the farm. And it is precisely because she already has this frequency so high, so developed, her own body is already transforming quickly. And there will come a point, where her body will become so subtle, that she will effectively go to the fifth dimension. Long before the vast majority here. This is a way of explaining what is happening to some people on the planet. Many are already vibrating in the fifth dimension and vibrate 24 hours a day, but their physical bodies remain here, they will only effectively ascend when the entire planet ascends. So these same souls, more evolved ones that vibrate in the fifth dimension all the time, will be the main pillars supporting the process. So it's as if you imagine that these souls have an immense height, in terms of frequency. So they are sitting in this circle that you created but they have a lot of height, because the frequency is very high. 
So this frequency means that their physical body is here in the third, but exactly because of the height that they have, they are resonating with the height of the fifth dimension, with the frequency of the fifth dimension. Many other souls who are also preparing themselves also resonate to the fifth dimension, not all the time, they resonate part of the time, a few seconds, they resonate for a short time. So each one has a frequency height. So we can see that there is a descent in terms of energetic frequency. And that's exactly what happens. Each one of you is at a frequency point where you, for example, most of the day, you are in the third frequency, but in some moments, in the moment of meditation, in the moment of internalization, your frequency rises and you reach a little higher. And you transport yourself to that height of the fifth dimension, even though the physical body is here. That's basically what happens when you meditate. When meditation is done with faith, with interiorization, with belief, with surrender and trust. You get there in the fifth dimension. The meditation is over, your frequency drops and you return to this stage here in the third again. But there are people who can maintain that Thursday frequency for longer during the day. Ah, but are they people who meditate all day? No, these are not people who meditate all day, they are people who are resonating everything that is the fifth dimension, all the feelings of the fifth dimension. They are oblivious to the whole world, which is out here. It's as if they created a private world, in which they are only concerned with ascending and evolving. So what do I mean by all this, to you? You are moving between the rays all the time. What defines your placement in the rays is the energetic frequency. So many times, you have a fourth dimensional frequency. You don't jump straight to the fifth, you reach a frequency of the fourth, and that's where many of you see spirits. Because the benevolent spirits are still in the fourth dimension. It no longer contains what it did before this whole process, but souls continue to be elevated from their physical bodies. People keep dying and when it happens, the souls go to the fourth dimension. And there they are being treated and selected, where they will go. So many people go through this, they see some souls, some beings. Others manage to increase the frequency to fifth. And there they meet galactic beings, they meet masters, with me, with Mary, with Michael, with the Archangels, with whoever you want. Going back to talking about powers, you worry a lot, when will I have my powers? The answer is very simple, when you emanate high frequencies. Understand the following, your pineal gland is already practically clean, because the energies that are arriving from the central sun of Alcyon have already done this, they dissolved everything that was around their glands. So there is no longer any problem with that. What's missing is for you to vibrate loudly. What's left is for you to surrender. What's missing is for you to really open up to the higher dimensions. And for this you need only one thing, high energetic frequencies. If we could create a prepared liquid or air for you to drink daily, it would be good, because you would take doses of energy and expand this frequency, but we can't do that. Why not? Because it's everyone's choice. It's no use if you take a dose of energy every day and don't act like it. You will be deceiving yourselves. Ah, since I'm taking this energy, I can do whatever I want. And then it wouldn't do any good. So what I have to say to you today, exercise your powers, the power is there. It is not a power that you will gain, because energy will arrive. It is a power that you will gain, when you elevate yourself, when you vibrate high, when you realize that you are in the fifth dimension. That's not a word. Ah, now I'm going to the fifth dimension. It is not how it works. It's raising your thinking. It's raising your vibration, so you can get there. And what can we do to maintain this vibration, to increase this vibration? Practice love 24 hours a day, try not to have feelings of any other kind, try not to get involved in discussions or opinions. They never lead to anything, they lead to lower vibration. Because you rarely want to be at the bottom, 
you always want to be right. Eat correctly, drink lots of water, practice unconditional love, listen to high frequency music all day long. That is good. That is great. So my brothers, start raising this quantum of energy that you have. Then you will see all your powers happening, because they are already there. No one will go to the corner store to buy anything. Everything is in there, and if you don't notice them, it's because you're not vibrating high. Let it be clear that those who vibrate only during meditation will not go to the fifth dimension, because they do not vibrate all day long. It's a context, you may not even vibrate high, but if you remain balanced, or at least try to maintain yourself, this will be taken into account. But rest assured, if you follow all these steps, you will get there easily. When you truly believe in what you do, you will see. The problem is that you still don't believe in the power you have, and you have a lot of power. We would all like to pick up each one of you, as if you were a doctor. Take each one of you, sit in front of us and say, Look, you have to do this, 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 and this. If you follow this recipe, you will be ready. We can do this, you just need to ask us, ask any of us, what do I need to do to improve, to elevate myself, to have my vibration up there, what do I need to do, where am I going wrong? This is the first step, admitting that you are making a mistake. Because those who don't make mistakes are up front. So if you can't do it, it's because you're making a mistake. Admit it. So ask us, where am I going wrong? And we will tell you. You will realize exactly where you have to change, where you have to improve. And then you will see how everything will start to happen, easily. I assure you that it is nothing impossible, nor difficult. It's just controlling your mind, controlling your impulses, controlling some habits. And then you will see how everything will improve and you will have all your powers in your hands. Make an appointment with us, we will be ready to give you a good prescription for the treatment you will have to undergo. Don't think this is impossible. You will listen to each one of us whenever you want, you just need to believe, you just need to understand, that we are not unattainable. We are by your side all the time, just waiting for you to say, talk to me, and we will talk. Now you have to believe, get this story out of there, that I'm not worthy, I'm a sinner, I'm dirty, I'm a deplorable being. There is no judgment on our part. Now be ready to listen, because the recipe may not be what you want. There may be some things there that you won't like at all. Then you have the power to choose, to do it or not. It is up to you to follow the treatment or not. The power is in your hands, at all times, not in ours. You have the power of decision, the power of choice, the power of execution, the power of non-execution. It's all there in your hands and in your mind. We are ready. Contact us and ask for treatment. And we will be happy to point out, to each of you, where you need to improve. To get to that fifth dimensional frequency, most of the time, most of the day. Do this and you will see the difference. I am Sananda. And precisely because I was human, like each of you, I understand the difficulty you have. But I'm here, ready, to help each one of you.